Well, Lou at six, is it true or is it just one of those stories that's kind of evolved over the years? Do those long, cold winters like the one we just had have anything to do with cutting back the amount of bugs we'll see around this summer? Meteorologist Craig Adams turns MythBuster and Bugbuster and separates fact from fiction. Ah, those irritating bugs that seem to drive us crazy once the weather turns nice and warm. Be it ticks or mosquitoes, who wouldn't love less of them around to bother us? We've often heard that winters that are long and cold are capable of killing off bugs. Does it impact whether or not we'll have more or less bugs this upcoming spring and summer? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, folks generally look for a good old-fashioned cold winter to, to get rid of some of these insects, but insects have been around for millions of years and really evolved a lot of different ways to protect themselves throughout the winter. So the cold winter theory goes out the window, but there is another way that some late season cold weather could help. A late season freeze here in May would kill off more insects than really the, the deep cold temperatures we had in January and February. And what turns out to be of greater consequence than the weather is how we go about cleaning up our yard. Particularly ticks will uh, hibernate in areas with this under, under cover here, this, these leaves and some of this brush and whatnot. So after all, maybe it isn't the temperatures that really will get rid of a lot of the bugs, but cleaning up your yard from leaves and sticks goes a long ways. So make sure you spend a little time getting rid of the places the bugs like to hang out. Barring a late season freeze, it looks like the bugs will be back in full force. And thus our long winter really didn't help killing off any additional bugs. In Schenectady County, I'm meteorologist Craig Adams, CBS 6 News. I didn't know Craig lived behind the station. <laughs> Who knew? I think he should be for hire with the raking he's doing. Doing a nice well, job well, there outside here. The back of the station's going to look better now, <laughs> that's for sure. All right.